Now we focus on annuities and we have equal periodic payments. Uh, we have two variations. One is an ordinary annuity where the payments occur at the end of each period. We, and the second type is an annuity due where the payments occur at the beginning of the time period. So suppose we have this problem. Uh, we are looking for uh, to pay, uh, we like to pay our tuition and our plan is to withdraw 5,000 for each of the next three years with nothing left over. We're going to use all our funds. And the question is how much you have to deposit today if the bank pays 4% annual interest in able to withdraw. We want to withdraw over the next three years for each year $5,000. So we know that we have three years to go. Uh, the interest rate is the 4% that uh, we see there. The question is what's the present value? How much do I have to, to deposit today? In this case, we want to withdraw 5,000 for during at the end of year one, year end of year two, and end of year three. So this constitutes an annuity because we have equal periodic payments. Therefore, we put 5,000 as our annuity payment. We have no money left over, meaning that the future value equals zero. And the question is, what's our present value? We use the same formula as to find the present value of a lump sum. So the interest rate is 4%, our number of periods is 3, our payment is 5,000, and our future value is uh, nothing, zero. So we have to deposit to the 13, 875, and 46 cents in order to be able to withdraw 5,000 for each of the next three years if our money grows at a 4% every year.